there's this new thing going around that if you want to buy the Nikon ZFC, it makes no sense. Instead, buy the X-T3 because it's a better choice. Angry photographer got frustrated and kept repeatedly asking, why would you buy this camera? Why would you buy it? Why would you consider buying it? Why? I ask you to ask yourself, so why am I interested in this inferior slow camera? But this camera will shoot up to 11 frames per second with autofocus tracking. He basically says that there are three problems with the camera. First, it's not a Fuji. Hey, why don't you get yourself a used or even new Fujifilm X-T3? Second, it's basically Z50 inside. Well, it's better than a Z50, but who cares, right? He doesn't care. And third, it doesn't have IBIS. I personally myself don't care about IBIS. DFC doesn't have IBIS. Yeah, X-T3, it's another matter. So... I have the Fuji X-T3. It's a wonderful camera and I love using it. But I'm going to quickly tell you 12 reasons why the X-T3 versus ZFC comparison isn't meaningful at all. Here is the first thing. The X-T3 is Fuji's best. ZFC is Nikon's entry level. So not a fair comparison. Second, X-T3 is a China-made, almost three-year-old body, soon to be withdrawn by Fuji. ZFC is brand spanking new, and so Nikon will support this camera for a while uh, going forward, at least for two years. Three, X-T3 does not have a flip screen. So if you're looking for a flip screen in a, like a camera like an X-T3 camera, so the X-T3 doesn't have it, you can look at ZFC. Fourth, no upgradability to full-frame lenses when you buy into X-T3 and the Fuji system. If you are not sure if you think that you might upgrade to full frame later on, you will end up buying APS-C lenses for Fuji, which will not have any use when you have actually moved to full frame. The great thing with the Nikon Z mount APS-C cameras is that they all share the same mount. It's all Z mount. So for example, let's take the case of the 28mm f2.8. That lens is a full frame lens. Although it's a beautiful fit for the ZFC small tiny camera, it's a great lens to be used for Z6.2s, Z7.2s as well and the upcoming Z9. Now point number 5, Nikon colors are way better, at least for me, at least to me, than Fuji's colors. I find that the Fuji JPEGs crush the blacks too much for my liking, so I have to always sort of overexpose. The good thing is that the sensor in the Fuji X-T3 and X-T4 as such, that they handle highlight areas very well. The colors aren't neutral. I mean, no one can claim that the Fuji colors are actually neutral. Not sure how popular Fuji is with the professional food photographers because, you know, that's sort of a yardstick. Sixth point, shifting from photo to video is just so easy on the Nikons on any Nikon Z mount cameras. Plus it saves all the settings specific to photo and video. On I'm talking about the Nikon here. You can't do that on the X-T3. You can do that somewhat on X-T4, but you know X-T4 is quite a bit more pricey. Point number seven, ZFC has Z6.2s and Z7.2s autofocus, which is much better than X-T3s. I know it because I have both. Point number eight, a related fact is that Fuji doesn't have good video autofocus lenses. One must buy the very expensive 16 to 55 f2.8 um, for good video autofocus. And still, it's no match for the Nik for Nikon's old F-mount G glasses adapted for video autofocus. Just think about it for a second. Point number nine, Z50's battery life and therefore ZFC's battery life is likely to be much better than the X-T3's. X-T3's EVF jams after a while unless you put it on boost mode and you drain out the battery even faster if you put the X-T3 on boost mode. Doesn't happen on Nikon. Tenth point, most Fuji lenses are not weather sealed. Therefore, a marginally better built body will not matter. Particles will reach the sensor easily. It will reach the internals of the lens easily. All the Z glass, Nikon Z glass are weather sealed. Now point number 11, X-T3 does not have the beautiful body color options that the ZFC has and which many will buy the ZFC for, although the colors are not available right now in all, all the market. And I have to admit, the ZFC is kind of cool, yeah, it's kind of cool looking, yeah. I admit people, hey, it looks kind of cool. ZFC is simply a much simpler camera to use overall. Considering the menu, the touchscreen, the buttons, for entry-level and casual shooters, it's a much easier camera to st get started with. It's a better experience than X-T3 all the way. And here I'm just talking about the ease of usage. So just saying that the X-T3 is better 
is an unthought through oversimplification in my mind. So there you go. Why the ZFC and the XT3 is not a fair comparison. I'm going to get the ZFC for myself. I think I am when it's available. We'll post more real world usage stuff when I get the camera. Why? If this is the kind of content you like watching, then please subscribe. Check out the other 50 odd videos too. The new Nikon ZFC. So it's a fine little camera. Cool. Yeah. See you.